Hello. Hello. Hello, coach. How are you? How are you? I'm great. What about you? Fabulous. I'm wonderful. Are you ready to pick a number? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Four. Number My four. My number, I will search four. Yep. Okay. All right. So we'll cross off number four. And let me find your question. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> and the questions today are all connected to cell phones. So somehow Ooh. the questions will be about <laughs> cell phones. So you did number four. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Your new job. Yeah. Your new job says you cannot use your cell phone while at work. What do you do? What do I do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will take that job because I'm on the job. There is no phone is not allowed, but still we can use it. And so, yeah. <laughs> ah. Of course, whenever we get time, we can. We are using it. Everyone is using it. So yeah, I will. I will take that job, and as well, whenever I will get the time, I will use that. I will use that time. And what if they give you a warning and they say, "While you're here at work, you cannot use your phone, and if you do, you will be fired." What would you do? If it's like that, yeah, then I will skip that. I will not use phone then. Yeah. Okay. So my understanding is that the job is more important than your phone. Is that correct? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. My job after that duty, uh, when I will finish that hour, after that I can use it, right? It's not uh -huh. like. It. Okay. If I'm All busy, right. I will not use that. Yeah, I said it that time only. That if I will free, I will get. I will use that time only. If I will sure. be free. Okay. Can you ask me the same question? Okay, coach. Then, uh, like, if you will take that job, uh, what was the question? <laughs> sure, it's okay. It was kind of a sentence and a question. Your new job says you cannot use your cell phone while at work. What do you do? Okay, the new job says that you can't use your phone while your job. What do you do? What you will do? I will survive. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's maybe about choosing priorities, right? Uh, do I need yes. money, <laughs> or do I need to, you know, have fun with my cell phone? But maybe, maybe I could somehow convince my boss that in order to do my job, I need to use my cell phone, and then, yeah, then I would have more freedom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, the good idea. You will talk. You will direct talk to your dad and talk, boss. Yeah. Sure. And because there are a couple things, <clears throat> I would like to be able to receive emergency phone calls, right? Maybe from my wife or my family. If something is wrong, I would, you know, like to get those phone calls. Yeah. Yeah. If what if they will say if uh, any emergency is there, they can call in our uh, office phone number. Sure. What? There are other phones besides cell phones. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, like telephone, uh, they can call in us on our uh, like official number. Yes, I, I'm just joking because <laughs> most people <laughs> use cell phones. See, in the comments, Mohammed Farak says we survived in the past and we can do it again. <laughs> yeah. Right? Okay. Well, thank you for coming live and thank you for having a mini conversation with me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to in the future to have more and more and more conversation with you. Thank you so okay. much. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank. I see a wall. It's white. <laughs> Maybe a red blanket. Hello. Is anyone there? All right. If no one's there, then we'll move on to someone else. All right. Let's go. Ah, I remember this guy. Let me make a note. Mohammed Farak. I remember this fellow. Da, 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 da. Waiting for Mohammed Farak. Let's see if we can connect. Hi, uh -huh. sir. <laughs> Hello. 
How are you? I'm fine. Great. How about you? I'm wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Always wonderful. Thank you. Okay. So, do you remember what is the theme for today? Yeah, it's a nice theme actually. It's about cell phones, and I like the idea that you are going to do all the life about one topic. I think this is a great idea because we can focus on one uh, topic and we can learn about the vocab and the phrases, maybe the idioms. So, well done, sir. All right. We'll see how it goes. It's always good to experiment, right? Try something new. Of course. New. Of course. Okay. What would you like? Uh, let's go for five, please. Five. Okay. It's like I'm sorry. This is not a game show. You can't win money. But <laughs> yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I can win a free lesson with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, it's two questions in one, so it'll be good for a mini conversation. Here we go. How old were you when you got your first cell phone, and how did you feel? Yeah, uh, let me remember. Uh, so I had my first cell phone maybe when I was about 35, 30 or 35. And, you know, it, was, uh, it wasn't a smartphone, of course, but uh, it felt weird and strange. And uh, I used all the time to, you know, to touch it and uh, <laughs> something strange. And maybe, maybe I called someone, uh, some people by mistake because we, we weren't used to such kind of technology. Sure. Yeah, it, it was just basic. It was just for, you know, for making phone calls and receiving, maybe sending text messages. That's all. Do you remember it what was, brand it was? I think it was Sony Ericsson. I, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, Simmons, yeah, yeah. Simmons, I think it was Simmons or LG. I'm not sure because, you know, I change my mobile phones every now and then. Sure. All right. Can you ask me the same question? So what was your uh, first cell phone you had and how did you feel about it? Right. So how old was I when I had my first cell phone and how did I feel? Well, let's see. I think I was about... 20 or 21 and yeah. it was it was a Nokia cell phone wow yeah yeah and just like you said simple but at that time it's like wow <laughs> yeah of course something new right and I mean yeah. it could you know call text and then it had like the simple games like uh, yeah. what was yeah. the, the, the snake I, I, game the as a snake, snake yes you... kind of snake in a maze something like that <laughs> And yeah, you... it was very simple, yeah. <laughs> but a lot of people maybe used to spend a lot of time because there, were, uh, there, were, there weren't a lot of options, you know. Right, right. So, yes, it's interesting. At that time, it's like, it's like new technology. It's great. And then it just, right. So I guess, how did I feel? I felt very amused, kind of excited, and... Uh, very curious. I wanted to try out all the functions. I wanted to call people. I wanted to see how it works and stuff like that. Yeah. So amused, excited, and curious, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And was it expensive at the beginning? Yeah, it was kind of expensive. And it yeah, was kind because, of... Uh -huh. Because new technology always, you know, it's, it started uh, expensive, then maybe getting cheaper and cheaper. Right. With more functions, right? With more function, of course, yeah. Right. And I suppose I could do a follow-up question. How old were you when you, or wait, how much, or what was the time difference from your first phone until your first smartphone? Uh, yeah, maybe it was maybe seven or eight uh, years, and my first smartphone, I think, was iPhone. And I was totally amazed. It was wonderful for me, a new experience, you know? So right. it, it's, it was pure gold for me. Something really nice because I like audios, I like to listen, and I like listening, watching a lot of functions, and I like this touch, you know? And the, the, this design of, you know, uh, Apple uh, is famous for uh, uh, this uh, elite design, good design. So I like it very much. And mm -hmm. I had never, uh, back to the old one. <laughs> it's very difficult for me now to, you know, go back to the old ones like Nokia's or this kind of this uh, touch. You you touch the buttons or you press the buttons. It's very difficult and weird for me now. 
right, right. Um, I I probably kept my first phone and my second phone. I had a Nokia, similar ones for a long time, and I only got my first first smartphone probably about maybe five years ago, five or six years ago, and so when yes. I brought wow. When when I brought my old phone into the the phone store, she's like, "Wow, that's a dinosaur!" <laughs> <laughs> you you know, sir, that I know a lot of people they stick to the dinosaurs. <laughs> they stick to their old cell phones till now, and they don't want to change it. Uh-huh. So I, I, maybe they are happy with it. I don't know, but uh, there are a lot of people they didn't change into smartphones, and I know them actually, and they are working in the field of. Uh, IT. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. What? Once I got my first smartphone, I was hooked. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Of course. Of course. Right. Okay. Well, thank you for coming live. It was a good conversation. I think cell phones are a very interesting topic because yeah, yeah, everyone is connected. Yeah, right. of course, sir. And it it uh, it's open a lot of questions and a good uh, conversation uh, topic. So a lot of people have this experience, so they can speak about it. Thank you, sir, for uh, uh, adding me and for inviting me to your uh, lovely life. Looking right. forward to the next one. <laughs> All right. You. See you later. Bye bye. See you, sir. Oh, we're connecting. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, I'm good, but uh, I have problem. My camera is broken. That's sorry. I'm sorry for it. <laughs> it's okay. It seems like it's kind of a, a misty, cloudy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's okay. Uh, as long as... <laughs> uh, I'm joining from Turkey. Okay. And what is your name? Uh, my name is Evide. Okay. Uh, All right. My uh, name is. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, nice to meet you. I'm so excited because ah. uh, my first uh, joining. Okay, sure, wonderful. Thank you. Uh, my name is Michael. I'm from the U.S. Nice to meet you. Nice and to meet I'm going to give you some numbers, and you can choose, and there will be a question. Okay. Okay. I wanted to choose three. Three. All right. Let me cross off number three. And uh, uh, can maybe- you? Can you speak slowly because uh, I can't understand some time. <laughs> yes, no problem. If you can't understand, ask me to repeat, and I will. All right. Let's see. So today, all of the questions are about mobile oh. phones, cell phones, or smartphones. Okay? okay. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's see. So it's two parts in one question. First, okay. why do you have a cell phone, and what do you mostly do with your cell phone? Okay, please. I'm sorry. Can repeat? you repeat? Okay. Yes, I can. How about we'll do this? We'll break it into two parts. Okay. So first okay. part, why do you have a cell phone? Why do you have a cell phone? Right. Um, because uh, sometimes a cell phone is uh, necessary for emergency call and sure. uh, to in- interview our uh, family, special uh, from. Uh, other country. Sure. <laughs> My pronouncing is so. Uh, you, bad. you can say no, no. Say, say you say my say my pronunciation is improving, right? You're okay. improving. You're getting better, right? So I heard from you that cell phone is very useful, right? It's necessary. It helps us to communicate. All right. Yes. So the second part is. What do you mostly do with your cell phone? How do you mostly use your cell phone? What for? Hmm. Uh, not creative creativity. <laughs> I wish uh, I could use uh, creativity, but not it. 
sometimes I'm playing uh, application or games, especially uh -huh. PUBG. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh huh. And do do you have a number one reason that what is the what do you do most on your phone? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm taking photo because my hobby is uh, take a photo. Okay. I'm using mostly for take a photo. Okay. All right. So can you ask me the same questions? Mm -hmm. uh, why do you have a cell phone? Yes. Why do I have a cell phone? Because it's an incredible tool. Yes. <laughs> it, makes, it makes life much easier, more efficient, and more effective. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. And do you remember what was the second question? Mm, I don't remember. <laughs> ah, it's what do you mostly do with your mobile phone, or what do you mostly do with your cell phone? Uh, what do you most uh, do you do cell phone? Uh huh. It's. I think it's a difficult question because there's so much <laughs> we can do. Um, I think I use I use it a lot for a calendar to to organize my day and to remind me of appointments and my projects and things I need to do. So it's very important for that. Um, also for uh, different photo projects because there are a lot of photo apps which are very helpful. So, yes. yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, have you ever been in Turkey before? Nope, not yet. <laughs> I recommend to come here. <laughs> Sure, I would love to. I, I like the food from uh, the Middle East. I think it's very delicious. Yes, yes. yes. Turkish mm -hmm. food is so important. Uh -huh. Because uh, Turkish okay. people liking to eat. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think all people like to eat. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So I need to move forward. Thank you for coming live. And you're welcome to come in the future, okay? Uh, thank you. Thank you. All right. For, All right. Kiss. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing fabulous. How about you? I'm wonderful. Thank you. And you've come live, I know, at least once before, right? Yes. yes? Yeah. Okay. Well, welcome back. Thank you. How have you been? Great. I'm back again. Good <laughs> Can to see you? you. Choose a number. Uh, let's go for six. Number six, okay. All right, there we are. All right, number six, let me find your question. All right, so this is kind of a multiple question in one. Here we go. Okay. Do you ever switch off your cell phone? How often and why? Um, yes, I do. And I do it every day. And actually, it's like refresh the phone and, you know, it's become like a new each time. So, especially uh -huh. if you have like a low storage, so you're facing a lot of problems uh, with the storage. So, I need to switch it off every day, like one time. Uh-huh. And, yeah. ooh, this could be, this question is kind of interesting because we can interpret it in different ways. Uh, one person might think switch off means you turn it off for maybe hours. Another person might think it means you switch it off and then you turn it back on immediately. So yeah, you power. I, Which one did you think? I do it immediately. Like uh, I put my fingers on the screen button and uh, what do we call it? On button, I think. You could say the power button. You power yeah. off. Power off and then power on immediately. Yeah. yeah, I usually do, what I do is I put my finger on uh, power button and screen button simultaneously. Uh -huh. So it's like, uh, actually I do have uh, an iPhone, so it's switch on 
and off um, like in, in maybe less than one minute. Uh huh. It's kind of like a soft reset, right? Exactly. Yes. Right. Sure. And it's very useful. So uh, let me ask: Do you ever turn off your phone for like maybe an hour, two hours, or three hours at one time? Um, I don't think so. Uh, but in case the batteries die, you know, <laughs> you have no choice. <laughs> I, I have no choice. Sure. Uh huh. Okay, can you ask me the questions that I asked you? What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's see. It, yeah, it's kind of a comp well, a more complex question. Here you go. Do you ever switch off your cell phone? How often and why? Okay, so do you ever switch off your cell phone? How often and why? Right. So. First off, I will say that yes, I do a soft reset, maybe maybe once or twice a day, especially if maybe the apps aren't working correctly or uh, the cat the cache needs to be you know kind of rebooted. It kind of makes things work better. Um, so maybe once or twice a day on that one, but I don't usually leave it off for very long, and I usually I try to charge my cell phone. Whenever it gets to 50% or less, I try not to wait till too long. So then I will always have. But yeah, Good. it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, Go are ahead. you addicted to for phone? Am I addicted? Ooh. Well. How many hours? See. Ah. Well, I think it depends. I think it depends how you use it, right? Um, I use my phone phone as a tool. It helps. It supports me when I use my do my projects, when I need to do research, when I need to communicate with my students. Um, I don't play games. I have no games on my phone. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, I do use it when I uh, for videos. Sometimes I download uh, audio books. Well, that's audio, and then also videos from YouTube that I research uh, that I want to watch. And once in a while, I, I will watch a movie. But I don't use a lot. Use it for a lot of entertainment. It's more of for my projects. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's like a small laptop in your head. Exactly, right? And you can do anything you want. Uh-huh. I mean, I like I never use my laptop in, unless I need to do something big uh -huh. and work on a on a big program that cannot be downloaded in my phone. Sure. And I guess I didn't answer your question directly. You asked if I was addicted. And yeah. Um, I guess, yeah, I would have to say yes, because it would be very difficult for me to stop using it. I mean, I would survive, but it's quite challenging. Um, but I would, it kind of feels like a necessary tool that has become part of my work routine. So I rely on it and it helps me a lot. So I guess you could say addicted, but I mean, I'm not going to start crying. <laughs> yeah, like, like three hours a day or more than that. Is that considered being addicted or? Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, me, myself, like I spend 40 hours a week. Uh -huh. So I, I, I assume it's, this is a lot. I, I would say it depends on what you're doing, right? Yeah. I mean, if your job is a bus driver and you spend 40 hours on your phone, that's probably a problem. <laughs> I consider it myself. To be addicted to phone in case you are using social media most of the time, but if there's something helpful like you are reading a book or listening to a podcast, I think it's fine. Uh huh. Sure. I I would agree. I think it depends on your priorities and whether yeah. they are they are hurting you or helping you. Yeah. Sure. Exactly. Okay. Wow. So, Cell phones are. We can talk for hours. <laughs> yeah. Interesting talk. I know. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you for coming live. I need to move forward. You're welcome to come back in the future. Thank you so much. Take care, and I'll see you soon. All right. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited right now. I'm sorry. No, it's good. I think it's good because it takes confidence to come live, right? It's a good way to practice your English. Okay. I tried um, to join many times actually my real account uh, FTM EIB, but you said I can't add you. Oh. <laughs> That's why I 
I'm using my sister's account. Great. I really wanted yeah. to join. Wonderful. Well, sometimes when I push connect, it says unable to join, and I don't yes. know. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, what All is right. your name? Your name <laughs> and where? My name is Fatma. And where are you from? Turkey. Turkey. And others. All yes. right. Okay. Um, I'm Michael from the U.S. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right. Um, seven. Seven. Okay. Yes. Please don't don't ask me any hard questions. <laughs> Well, I <laughs> well remember all of the questions will be about cell phones, right? Somehow. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. All right. Here we go. What are some things that annoy you about having a cell phone? Annoy you? Ooh. Sure. Uh, here's another way to say it. What are some things that frustrate you? Or that you find difficult about having a cell phone? Oh, the connection. Ah. I hear um, you. Okay, I will repeat. Let's see. Uh, what are some things that frustrate you about having a cell phone? Or what are some difficult things about having a cell phone? Um, difficult things. Um. I don't know. I like to use uh, cell phones. I don't have any difficult things about it, but I ha I am I spend so much time in here in with my cell phone. I think it may be difficult things because I can't um <laughs> I can't create a new sentence. I'm sorry. I feel no. really excited. You're doing well. Yes. Uh huh. So maybe you're talking about how much time that you use for a cell phone, and that can be good or bad. I spend lots of time in applications with my cell phones. Um. Uh huh. Um. Good. Yeah. Yes. Right. I see in the comments someone. Let's see, Nina. Uh, let me find it here. Uh, da, 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 da. Nina seven seven two says too many notifications. Uh huh. Sometimes we have a lot of notifications, and our phones always going ding, ding dong, or something like that. And we're like, oh, I have to look. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh huh. I totally agree. All right. Can you ask me the same question or similar? Oh, uh, I think I can because I really forget your question. Okay. So repeat after me. Okay. Okay. And and first, when the first time the word annoy, it means to bother, right? Something that you don't like. If something annoys you, it's like I don't like it. It's not good. So here's the question. Repeat after me. What are some things that annoy you about having a cell phone? What are some things that annoy you having a cell phone? Yes, very good. <laughs> All right. Thank so, you. so what are some things that annoy me about having a cell phone? I think I'm going to agree with in the comments. Nina seven seven two. She says too many notifications. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes or often, I have to put my phone on mute because. Uh, if I need to do my work, or if I need to work on my project, I find it very distracting to hear ding ding. <laughs> When I'm studying, I'm always uh, thinking about what uh, my friends doing. Uh, my friends, what are uh, what are they doing? And right. uh, I'm thinking, I'm studying. People are discovering the world. Uh, Because of the social media, you know, sure. Sure. too many notifications. Yeah. I think uh, social media makes us feel very curious, right? We want to see things. Yes. However, yes. sometimes it takes too much time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we, I agree we, need, with you. we need to do other things, so it's kind of a, a challenge. It's a little bit difficult to balance our time. Mm -hmm. Even when we meet with our friends. We don't talk too much. We are just checking out uh, our phones. Right, right. It's very common to go to a restaurant 
and maybe see a big family of four or five, six people. No one is talking, but everyone is. Yes. <laughs> Let's remember. see. Let me. Uh, they are talking. They are not talking, but they are taking a photo and they are thinking that we are came here and uh, we, it was a good time, but they didn't talk. They just take a photo. Uh, did right. you understand right. what I mean? <laughs> right. Right. So they take a picture of the meal. But they don't talk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. They're just showing that. Right. Yes. I think it's very common. People want to show their life to the world. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I need to move forward. Very well done. Thank, Thank you for you. coming live. And I, Thank you I, too. I think your confidence is wonderful. And it's a great Thank way you. to improve your English. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> okay. See you. All right, bye bye. Aha, uh -huh. hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, you? I'm great, thank you. Can I get your name and where you're from? I'm from Turkey. And uh, your name? Uh, surname is Joshman. Okay, nice to meet you. I'm Michael from the US, and Wait. we have a, a lot of people from Turkey. Wonderful. All yes. right. Can you we choose a number? Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Two. Two. Number two? Yes. All right. Here we go. And today the theme is cell phones. So all of the questions will talk about cell phones. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. What is the appropriate age for someone to have a cell phone? Sorry. Uh huh. What is the correct age, or maybe how old should someone oh, okay. be okay. before okay. they have a cell phone? Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, before uh, 18 years old, uh, no one uh, use cell phone uh -huh. because um, it has uh, so much technology. Mm -hmm. uh, because of this. Uh, this may be dangerous for children. Okay. That's all. Sure. So if I understood you correct, you said eight years old and over is... Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Can you ask me the same question? Mm -hmm. I'm very really excited. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so re repeat after me. Uh, and, and let me explain something first. First, I said, what is the appropriate age? And that means, like, what is the correct age? What is a good age? Or appropriate means something that is correct. It's good for the situation, okay? So repeat after me. What is the appropriate age for someone to have a cell phone? What is the appropriate... Appropriate? A appropriate age... Uh huh. For someone to have a cell phone. For someone to use cell phone. To to have, yeah. To have it's about the same. Okay. Ooh, it's kind of a difficult question. Well, maybe not so. Uh, for me, I would agree with you. For young young children, especially like one, two, three, or four, very very young, because their eyes and their body is still developing. Yes. Right. I have a children, he is uh, three years old, uh, uh -huh. and uh, his friends uh, use phone, uh, I see them. Uh -huh. and, a, a lot uh, or a, a little? A lot or a little? A lot, a lot. Uh -huh. But uh, I didn't, I don't support uh, for my son uh -huh. using cell phone. Uh -huh. uh, because... Um, because of this, I uh, I playing with him. Uh huh. I I I think I think many parents use the cell phone because it's easy, right? When yes. the kid starts to cry or they need something, it's like here you go, <laughs> yes. right? And then the kids are just like ah, and they just watch videos. I think it's more difficult 
and better, like you said, for the parent to play with their child, to interact, to have a relationship, right? Um, let's see. So for someone to have a cell phone, I think it depends on the maturity level of the person. If, if the person is going to only do things that hurt their life, it's not good. If the person will use the cell phone as a tool, I think it's probably okay. Yeah. Yes, I think so. So it depends. Go ahead. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I think it depends. Uh, in general, I think you need to be more mature. Mature just means like you are able to be responsible. You can make good decisions. Uh, my, my daughter has a cell phone, but <laughs> sometimes we have to take it away because she doesn't make good decisions, right? And she's learning, which is good. It's an opportunity to build responsibility, I think, and be more mature. But sometimes, <laughs> not so good. Yeah. How old is she? Ten. Ten years old. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you for coming live. Thanks and, so much. All right. Have a good day. Thanks a lot. See you. Bye bye. Ah, Hello. How are you, man? Uh, I've become similar to you. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you I wanted this. You, you got a haircut. <laughs> yeah. i become similar to you. It feels good. It feels better in the summertime. All right. Would you like uh, number eight or number eight? Yeah, this is the only choice. <laughs> All right. Go for it. Let's do it. Here we go. And the theme today is cell phones. Aha, uh -huh. here yeah. we go. What do you think about people who talk loudly on their phone in public? Uh, ex excuse me. Can you repeat it again? I, I lost. Uh, sure. what, what do you think about people who talk loudly on their phone in public? I, uh, uh, in my view, many people have different kinds of, uh, you know, uh, hearing ability, can understand someone else maybe, or maybe uh, they think, uh, you know, in the way that talk too loud make them, you know, uh, so prominent against other one to, for example, uh, make them satisfied about themselves, you know, for example, you can see uh, in the quarrel or a spat during the uh, a call, maybe uh, they r try to raise their voice, you know, to uh, convince other side in order to what they think and uh, their opinion is true, you know. But in the other vo in the other side, you can see many people, especially those who are in the uh, noisy places, you know, they are, uh, their uh, airing ability becomes so weak and think they, uh, they, they are talking in the lower uh, level of sound and just try to, uh, you know, increase their voice. And, uh, you know, in this way, uh, I think, uh, you know. How about you? What do you try to do in public if you use your cell phone? Uh, uh, you know, I, I usually use the, uh, uh, you know, headset in order to control my voice, you know, because I, I can't understand, sometimes I can't understand, sometimes people can understand the other people, guys, voices and try to, I, they, you know, it's a, like the imagination. They think, uh, it, they think if they increase their voice level that, that, uh, they, the uh, other side can understand them correctly or properly, you know, right. but, uh, using the headset, it helps them to, uh, you know, convey their meanings or their voice, their, their words, their remarks to other side easily. But uh, it's a little bit, this, this, uh, it, uh, it, 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 it uh, little depends on the situation that people live there. You know, in the noisy situation, people try to increase their voices uh, to in the, you know, uh, silence, silent or maybe calm in the, you know, serene places. They prefer to talk a little. Someone else maybe uh, is uh, going to bed or relaxing. Uh, many people try to, uh, you know, uh, 
control themselves and reduce their voice level in order to don't irritate other one, don't bother other other ones around themselves. You know, sure. but in the public, it's it's common. You know, in the public, you can see many people are talking too loud because uh, they can't uh, uh, you know listen the other side voice appropriately. That it, in this way, they they focus on to talk too uh, loud. You know, it's it's common. I I can't uh, criticize someone because of such behavior because uh, it happened even for me. You know. Sometimes I think it can listen to me and try to talk because of, for example, in the metro, in the subway, in the train, this noisy sound don't allow you to, un uh, to understand, uh, you know, other guys' voice or maybe it's, there, are, there are many noises, there are many, you know, sounds around you and it, uh, you know, makes you to talk too loud. Sure. All right. And can you ask me the same question? You know, uh, I forget, actually, I forget the question. <laughs> what, <laughs> what do you think about people who talk loudly on their phone in public? Uh, what, uh, what do the people talk too loudly in the, uh, in the public, you mean? Right, what do, uh, I, what do I think about people who talk, too, talk loudly on their phone in public? I would say it depends on the situation. If you're in like a movie theater, it's very disrespectful. Mm -hmm. If you're at oh. a funeral, it's very disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> if if you're in a place where people are praying, it's very disrespectful. Mm -hmm. If you're in a mosque mm -hmm. or if you're in church or if you're somewhere where people want quiet or even a library, it's very disrespectful. It's disrespectful. Oh, yeah, I, I absolutely. To, I need to say something about a comment that I see from Nina772. <laughs> She said, Upin and Epin. And <laughs> Upin and Epin, if I'm correct, is a cartoon in Indonesia, maybe Malaysia? Uh, Malaysia. And it's two boys mm -hmm. that are bald. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, last night I decided to do this way, you know. Uh, last night I decided, I uh, suppose that it is day. I can feel better, you know, and it, uh, I, it's so irritating for me the, uh, the hair, and it's a habit for me to uh, cut Ooh. my hair, but uh, this, uh, the last time I decided to clean shave in my hair, uh, the habit of clean shave head, you know, and sure, I, I cut all of them, yeah. I think it's very comfortable. I find it very easy. Yeah. Um, Instagram but I'm not me. handsome. But but I'm not handsome, handsome as you are. As you are, you know. <laughs> I, I want. I have, I have yeah. twenty. I have nineteen seconds. So I'm going to be going, and Instagram is going to shut me down. So I'm going to say thank you for coming live. Great conversation. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I hope I, was, okay. I hope see you again. Okay, and goodbye to everyone because my life.